Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm here once again with my Dell 3880, which is the cheapest brand new Dell I could buy for 2020. I'm going through it and doing a whole bunch of upgrades and kind of testing some stuff. Since it's your first visit here, there is a playlist for this thing, which I will link right up there and down in the description so you can go get all caught up. In that playlist, you're going to find the video where I put more RAM and an SSD in this thing. Yesterday, I had a comment on that video that said, hey, you did this wrong. And I read it and I went and looked at this thing and went, Yep, I sure did. So now it's time to atone for a sin and get this thing done the right way. And fortunately, I didn't break anything. And hopefully none of you guys out there will break anything because of the first video. Because I'm making this video now. And this is a comment that was left for me by Plyerstar93, which I have left as a pinned comment on this video. That, long story short, says that I used the riser for the SSD as the installation screw. And that's completely correct. I 100% did it wrong. And as soon as I read through what this person is telling me, I figured that out. So it's time to go get that fixed. Fortunately, I didn't break anything and hopefully nobody else out there broke anything by doing what I have done. The link for this video will end up as another response to this pinned comment. So hopefully we get ourselves out of trouble. And this is not going to be the first or last we do it right because we do it twice moment on the channel. If I make a mistake, I'll own it and we'll take care of it. So speaking of, I went ahead and bought one of these kind of overpriced SSD mounting kits. Just because this is probably the most correct thing I could do. I will link that in the description for you. So if you want one, you can go get one as well. But let's get into this thing and I'll actually show you what I did wrong and then let's fix it. So right there is my SSD. And this guy right here is not actually a screw. It screws in, it's got a Phillips head on it. But this is actually the riser this is supposed to sit on top of. Then we're supposed to use a washer and another screw to actually screw it down to this riser. So this started in a location over here. I was supposed to move it here, but I wasn't supposed to put the SSD under it first. It's a little difficult to show on camera, but what that commenter was saying is that the SSD is intended to be parallel to the motherboard, which it is. And I'm exaggerating with the pencil. It's on an angle right now because it's not sitting on top of that riser. And you can kind of get a sense for that when you look at the straight lines on the board versus how it's sitting there. So let's get that out of there and get it fixed up. And when I said I'm lucky I didn't break anything, I'm lucky that I didn't crack the edge of this SSD off or something. Which is, again, one of the reasons why I never get these screws super tight, because I don't need to be. If I'd really torqued that down, I probably would have broken this. And for all I know, when I take that riser back out, maybe a chunk will come off. We'll see. So let's get this screw back out of here. Or this riser. I don't see any pieces of SSD falling apart. I'm just going to pluck my SSD back out. Kind of pull it out of the connector. Come on. There we go. And you can see what screwed me up is there are actually little risers on the board already. But apparently they need to be that much longer. And since we're here, let's take a look at this SSD mounting kit I bought and see how it compares to the Dell riser. Because this is a kit with risers and washers, even a little screwdriver, and the tiny little screws that go in the center of these risers. Like there's a pretty good shot where you can see there's a hole in the middle of that thing. For an M2 screw, supposedly an M2 by two and a half is what it's supposed to be used for. But I doubt we actually got that size screw. We probably got M2 by threes. Those are actually measuring 285. So with this, ah, so with this washer, they'll actually be, you know, right around two millimeters of thread engagement, which should be fine. And these little itty bitty screws do have nice big heads on them to help support the washer. And you know, little tiny screwdriver. So there's a screw and washer ready to go. Here's the Dell standoff. And it looks like these generic ones, which I were sold for being for like an Osis motherboard, are probably a millimeter or two longer than the Dell standoff and of a totally different thread. So that portion of the kit is useless to me other than as spare parts for the future for different computers, which is fine. So from the factory, that riser was installed here. I need to move it over to here. Just get it snug. Going to need a smaller screwdriver from my tools kit for the itty bitty M2 screw. I don't care to use the one that was included because it's just a little too small for my taste. Get my SSD reinstalled and it's still going to want to springboard up. Yeah, <laughs> that looks much better. Oh, lost the washer. I'm glad I have spares because that might be lost lost. It fell down under the board. 
I managed to find it and now I've just got its screw and washer trapped under my thumb right now instead of trying to fish it on there with the screwdriver. So now I can just gently push it down and get the screw started or not. Ah, it's going to be a good time. Grab my tweezers out of my toolkit. My hand keeps bumping the camera so I keep dropping it on the way out every time. There, that's a smarter way to go. I did read several people say you don't really need this washer, but we're doing it, we're doing it. Dang it, does the screw even thread into that standoff? It does. I wonder if this screw isn't long enough to be used with that washer. Rather than keep fighting with it like this, I'm gonna take this back out and just see if this washer and screw will go in this without the SSD. So the Dell standoff and this screw just barely will thread together without the SSD in the way. So there, <laughs> that's without even starting to thread it. There, I've got maybe one and a half threads. So this washer is not gonna work out with the SSD. And the SSD does have that steel ring around it, so I, I don't really think you wanna use the washer here anyway. Just for clarity though, let's make sure the SSD fits before I drop stuff all inside the computer again. And it does. So that washer is not going to make it, but that screw will. So basically, I spent six bucks on one screw. But that's okay. I deserve the punishment because being stupid is supposed to hurt. So we'll let it hurt. Tiny little specialty screw. That is just snug. SSD is in there securely. Let's get a better view of it. So now you can see that it's obviously parallel to the board. You can check out those lines and see the difference between how it is now and how it was before. So, all fixed. I will make sure it boots up just because, you know, I kind of want to make sure it boots up. Let's give it the power. That sounds promising. So far, so good. I'm somewhat concerned that we're checking disk, but I'll let it. That's interesting. Uh, spoiler alert, I actually powered this thing up a moment ago, and it did not do this. So you're seeing the second boot because I forgot to hit record on the camera. Well, that was weird. Seems like it's okay. So that was weird. I rebooted this thing probably four or five times, and it didn't do anything else weird any of the other times, including the first time that I booted it and forgot to hit record on the camera. So I don't know what that was about. My gut feeling is it's probably not anything I did, but how could it not be? I was just messing with the SSD. Anyway, if I broke it, stupid supposed to hurt. I'll buy a new one if I have to, is what it is. So I hope I got the message communicated clearly that what I did the first time was wrong and that this is much more like the right way. As always guys, I appreciate you stopping in. We'll catch you on the next one. I'm Max, that's Saddington Bear, and we make videos like this all the time. Here are a couple links to some other videos we've made and we really appreciate you guys stopping in.